What is happening guys, I'm N64 Josh and I'm coming at you from E3. You're gonna notice the audio quality is a little different. I'm doing, this is all gonna be my mobile setup. So I do apologize that the, the quality is not where I would like it, but we're gonna do the best we can with what we got. So last night I was able to attend the Bethesda conference and I wasn't even on the list to get in. I talked with their PR and they, long story short, they put a wristband on me and, and let me, um, let me in. And I'm so very thankful. It was an incredible experience. So much energy in the room. People overall seem pretty excited there. Uh, Bethesda just threw a party like they did the conference. And then it was like, hey, here's dinner for everybody. Here's an open bar. Like it was just it was just a party. And it was really cool just hanging out. And I talked with some of the uh, some of the different employees from Bethesda. Um, one person in particular was a uh, w worked on some of the art and the the level art for uh, uh, for Doom and Doom Eternal, and we talked about just his thoughts on the Switch and and things like that. And he's like, I have Doom in my Switch right now, so so it was pretty cool. So you could kind of tell the beginning of the conference they they almost came out a, a little bit sheepish, kind of like their tails between their legs. And I think it was because of Fallout seventy six. I mean, uh, Todd even mentioned it, you know, and but he also mentioned that they've had the most players they've ever had in their games, which I think is great. And one of the things they're bringing to Fallout 76, which I know this doesn't uh, this doesn't apply to the Switch whatsoever, but it's a battle royale mode, which I thought was just was crazy that uh, that they were bringing this type of mode to to that game. And I hope I hope the community enjoys it. I hope it's what they're looking for, and I hope I hope it brings tons of uh, hours of fun for uh, uh, for that community. It, it it looks pretty cool getting into the mechs and being able to build and there's still like there's still NPCs running around and, and things like that. So it could be a pretty interesting game mode. Of course, I was there more to see some of the switch stuff, which we did, as you can see on the screen right now, switch blades, as they said when they announced it is is coming to the switch. It is going to be free and it is cross save and cross play. So you can you can start your character now if you'd like on mobile and it will carry on over to the switch um, they talked about it being able to play it handheld being able to play on the tv being able to use motion controls it, it sounds like it might be a, a pretty fun little just pick up and play game and it's coming this fall so uh you know cool to see the switch getting some love we, they also showcased uh wolfenstein young blood and what an intense trailer like Wolfenstein has got it's if you're about action and first person shooters, this is uh this is a game you need to check out. This is going to be a uh, co-op and you're the I believe the story takes place after um, the things that went down in, in Wolfenstein 2 and it it just it looked intense. What was really kind of interesting and I, I, I don't know if this was on purpose or just due to the uh, um, like the marketing material in the game, but the way the stage was lit up was all blue and red. And it just really like, I mean, it just looked like, uh, it looked like it was being marketed for the switch with the, with the blue and red joy cons. Right. So, um, they, it, it, it showcased pretty well. It is, it is looking pretty intense and it is going to be releasing July 26th. So, uh, we don't have to wait too much longer to be able to uh, check out Wolfenstein Youngblood. And you can see the lights there on the stage, right? Just very, very Switch-esque, I would say. Lastly, the thing they showcased, the uh, they took the most time with was Doom Eternal. And I got to say, after after watching everything they they showcased, they did showcase some like a new multiplayer mode, which looked interesting who knows how you know how it'll turn out they said it's kind of like a mix of first person shooter with a fighting game but i am very interested in the campaign of this game all of a sudden i'm interested in the lore just kind of based on the way these uh th they showcase this and and talking about like heaven and hell and you're just one man and these aren't your people and so i'm i'm just kind of i'm really curious about doom eternal and like what what's the actual story here because uh, if i'm going to be honest i didn't pay, really pay that close of attention to the story in uh, doom 2016 i was just having so much fun just sh running and shooting stuff that i i didn't really 
pay that much attention. I don't even know if there was that much story. I'm kind of, I may go back and just kind of uh, run through it and see at this point. Cause I, I'm, I'm really looking forward to this one. So this is going to be coming November 22nd. Thank you guys for watching. We'll see you in the next video. Bye now.